Hello, I'm Adam and welcome to the garden. In our video today, we're going to look at how to store our homegrown vegetables over the winter. Knowing how to store our homegrown vegetables properly is vitally important if we wish to live more self-sustainable lives. You won't get much better than fresh vegetables from the garden during those winter months and even on Christmas Day. Most root vegetables store well in the garden over winter, but potatoes do need to be lifted as when the soil gets wet they do tend to rot. So one important thing to consider when raising potatoes is curing them. So when I prepare my potatoes I place them for 8 to 12 hours on a sunny windowsill allowing the sun to harden the skin on the potatoes, this prolonging their life and their shelf life. Also try not to remove much soil from around the potato itself because this also helps maintain freshness. There are many ways you can store potatoes, but personally I like to store them individually wrapped in newspaper. So I get the potato like this and I wrap it up in newspaper like that and then store it in a drawer safely in a cool, dark and dry place. You can also store them in sacks as well, it's, it's up to you. But storing them individually like this, although it seems laborious, means that if you have one rotten potato in a bunch it doesn't affect the other potatoes this ensuring that you have a good crop of potatoes kept over winter it's also important to ensure when you're doing this that you don't try to store any potatoes with blemishes obvious notches or misshapen potatoes because these don't tend to store as well so make sure that you eat those potatoes first Another vegetable that stores well over the winter months are those of the allium family such as onions or garlic. Now there are many ways to store onions but the principles are very similar. It's important that we cure the onions for around three weeks on a sunny, in a sunny position allowing the skin itself to strengthen creating a layer, a protective layer around the onion bulb. Also when we remove the stem try to leave two to three inches of stem left this al not allowing any um, bacteria or any kind of mildew or mould to enter the centre of the bulb rotting it from the core. Likewise with garlic as well. Now you can store onions plaited um, and hang them in a dry position or keep them in a drawer like I've done here. So if you have an old drawer or an old um, bedside cabinet that you could recycle or repurpose at home they make ideal vegetable storage units only that to ensure that you create some ventilation holes in the back of those cupboards to allow the air to flow around the veg. Many of our most common and favourite vegetables that we have here in Wales can remain in the garden over the winter months such as leeks, cabbages, lettuce, celery, carrots, parsnips, you name it, the beetroot or the swede that I have beside me in these beds here, they all fare well in cooler winter temperatures and some vegetables in fact such as swede and parsnips actually are far tastier after a few weeks of cold weather and frost. So think of your garden as a fridge keeping your vegetables fresh during the winter months. But remember, only harvest bit by bit rather than harvest a lot at the same time because the growing season comes to an end by November. Most leafy vegetables such as cabbages won't continue growing through the winter months and therefore you won't have a replenished stock of vegetables. Well, I hope that's given you some ideas on how you can store your vegetables for the winter. If you have any questions, you're welcome to leave a comment under the video or contact us directly. Tanner Tronessa, Hoyle Amatroh.